let's make a crescent cheesecake. This is a really easy dessert to make. The first layer is going to be a sheet of crescent roll dough. So let's put this one into a 9 by 13 baking dish, which I'm going to spray with some cooking spray. Now you can get the crescents that come in the rolls like I have here or you can use the crescent roll sheet, whichever one you can find. Now what we're going to do is roll this out into our baking dish, like mine split in half and that's totally fine, work with what you get. There we go. We're just going to roll it out. End to end. Now you want to pinch together all of your seams and your edges right here if you're using the eight count crescent dough. Now obviously you don't have to do this if you're using the sheet. We're going to set this aside and start our second layer. Let's make that cheesecake mixture. I'm using two packages of cream cheese. Now these are the eight ounce blocks. You want to bring them to room temperature so they're nice and soft. We're going to put it into a large mixing bowl. That's one. We'll open up the second one. This is going to be so yummy and easy to make. You can make it for breakfast, for a brunch. Heck, you can make it at night for a dessert. All right. My cameraman, sous chef, cleaner. <laughs> dishwasher. Dishwasher, whatever you want to call them. To this, we're going to add one cup of white granulated sugar. I'm going in with my half a cup. Now this is a dessert, so there is sugar involved. To that, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yay, Thomas pour. Yeah, right. that's my husband's pour right there. Overspill. <laughs> all right, I'm going to blend this all together with my electric hand mixer. Yeah, this is the quietest one on earth, isn't it? We're going to blend this together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Give it a few minutes. Nice and creamy. Now, if you have somebody in the kitchen, <laughs> somebody that's always in the kitchen, I'll help you with They'll help you with those beaters. Yeah. There you go. All right. Jackpot. <laughs> Hasn't had breakfast yet. Mm. That'll tide them over until these are done. All right. I'm going to get a spatula. We're going to uh, take the mixture. We're going to place it on top of that crescent roll dough that's in our baking dish and we're going to smooth it out evenly. Thomas went and go make himself a cup of coffee. <laughs> the mixture tasted good. He said he just needs some coffee. I'm, back. I'm going to take an offset spatula and smooth this out. Y'all, if you don't have one of these tools, you need to get one. 
It's really great for spreading things that tend to stick to your spatulas. This is an offset spatula. I have it linked in my store also. My store is found on katherinesplates.com and it's the Amazon store link. You can go in there and find all the tools and equipment and dishes that I use. Sometimes you may find the shirts that I wear on there. Occasionally. Occasionally. Let's turn that around, get this side. Want it nice and even. We're gonna open up another can of the crescent roll dough. We're gonna place that right on top. All right, we're just gonna cover. We're just gonna pinch together the seams, and the edges. There we go, should look like that. All right, I'm just gonna take a microwave safe dish or a measuring cup. We're gonna melt a quarter cup of butter. We're gonna take the melted butter, we're going to spread it over the top of the crescent roll dough. And I'm just gonna take the brush, woo, I was splashing my husband with the butter. Be careful, it's a little warm. It is a little. <laughs> Just spread it evenly on your dough. It's another layer of flavor. We've got another layer. We're gonna put a quarter cup of white granulated sugar into a small bowl. We're going to sprinkle in some cinnamon, looking for about a teaspoon. I think that looks good, right there. You can adjust that to whatever you want. I'm just going to take a fork, whisk this together. We're going to sprinkle this on top of our butter. And I'm just going to take my hand so we don't have big clumps. Now you can put as much or as little as you want from this sugar mixture here on top. We're going to bake this in the preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes until the crescent roll dough is nice and golden brown cooked through and that filling is set. Look how golden brown that looks. We had pulled it out. The filling was set. It's pulled away just a little bit from the edges. We've cooled it down somewhat. I'm gonna cut into this. We're gonna give it some powdered sugar. All right, make sure you go down the sides. There's my piece. We're gonna make it snow. I'm gonna go in for a bite. Crescent cheesecake. This is so delicious. What a fun way to make a dessert, breakfast, brunch, whatever you need it for. Wow, love that creaminess in the center. And that butter on the top, ooh, what a layer of flavor. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. 
I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm.